It's an effort to keep their son's legacy alive. After Sebastian Dvorak was robbed and killed on the streets of Canton in 2017, his parents and friends have been working to give back to the city that he loved so much. WMER 2 News' Abby Isaacs has this story tonight. Go around the drill, ready? In the October heat. Hustle, hustle, hustle. These Baltimore City students practice their passion. Good go. Good move. Pretty standard compared to a life-changing experience many of them got over the summer. It was my first time on an airplane. It was scary. They went on a trip to a camp in Maine. So I've made a lot of new friends and I learned not to be afraid to try new things. All paid for by a special foundation. Camp made me so much better than what than what I was when I first started three years ago. A foundation in honor of Sebastian Dvorak, lovingly known as Seabass. There's no closure for people who go through what I go through. Just after celebrating his 27th birthday, his life was taken from him on the streets of this city he loved. His parents vowing to keep his memory alive. You know, you have to do, turn it into something positive, and that's the only way to to make something of a tragedy that happened. Two months after his murder, they started the Seabass Foundation to carry on his passions by giving back to organizations like Harlem Lacrosse. Our real goal is to really hit the under 16 year olds and provide them with opportunities that expand their worldview so that as they're making decisions as they get older, they have a wider base. It's important because it's a lot of people out here that don't get this chance to do this type of Seabass also loved golfing and snowboarding, reflected in the foundation's mission. He was happiest at the top of a mountain, um, and he loved uh, just exploring outside. They partner with another foundation, paying for a mobile classroom to continue education while transporting 50 Baltimore City students for a snowboarding program. We also partner with First Tee, which brings the kids golfing and teaches them golfing and moves them towards a caddy program and scholarships. The majority of their funding comes from their annual golf tournament Friday. His mom, Lisa Richard, hopes they can raise the most money yet to continue making an impact. I see the best way to kind of honor him is to, is to keep loving the city and keep trying to help it be better. On three, hold, one, six, five, one, two, three, hold, hold, four, five, six, family! family. That was Abby Isaacs reporting, and again, the majority of the money they raise to fund all the programs that they do comes from that annual golf tournament, which is this Friday. We have more information on how you can get involved on our website at WMER2news.com.